Hey everyone, this is uh, Clausius. Um, today I'm going to be going over uh, something I saw on the Yahoo Go server. It was a very interesting move, um, this move. So uh, when I first saw this move uh, played against me, it was it caught me off guard and I was thinking, what are they doing? But as I read it out, I couldn't kill this stone and uh, I saw several ways it could live. And I think that's why so many people on the Yahoo Ghost ever play it is because it's uh, difficult to respond to because you think you should be able to kill the stone being so, uh, since it's so inside and stuff, but um, actually it's not so easy to kill. I you actually cannot kill it. But <clears throat> I went over after the game after it's played against me. I went over several variations and I got with some friends and we talked about it a little bit and uh, we ended up concluding that uh, this move is not good and I'll show you why. So first off we say that it can easily live this way and let's see um, black, white, black, white, this, or black black goes here and then black gets this move. I said so white touches one more. We said that um, <clears throat> with this result uh, black is happy because white had to live on the first line and black got a lot of thickness. Uh, when I first read this out, I thought, um, how can black be happy because uh, white just lives inside of his corner? But um, that was me being greedy. So, uh, but uh, after I thought about it for a little bit, when um, this is open like this, <clears throat> it's uh, very easy uh, to just do this, get thickness, and black is happy. Um, another uh, way to help you understand is. We all know this 3-3 three, three just like here, we should, where white can come into 3-3 uh, three, three when you play a 4-4 four, four stone or a Hoshi, and when white plays this, white gets Sente, black gets thickness, and it's an even result, but actually if you do it too early in the game, like for instance if you have this, uh, this, 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 um, this, and then white goes into 3-3, three, three. we actually say, whoops, we actually say, uh, this might be too early, um, this might be a bad example, because I think 3-3 three, three is actually playable against, uh, this, normally we do this, so, it's more common, but, um, oh, sorry, this, so let's say, uh, black gets done over here, white goes here, black goes here, white goes here, and let's just say black jumps, and then white tries to 3 3. This is bad timing because we say that the influence is worth more than the corner on an open board. Um, even though white gets 10 points in the corner, black is probably going to be expected to get 10, more than 10 points on the outside. So we normally only play the 3 3 when we have uh, outside stones that will limit the thickness or we can deal with the thickness somehow. Um, we make sure we uh, pick our timing more when we play the 3-3. We don't just play it on an open board. And if that result is good for black on an open board, then this result right here has got to be super good for black because white has less points than he does when he invaded the 4-4 uh, point, and black has um, either thicker or just as thick uh, as the 3-3 three -three Joseki. And you actually have a stone further out compared to the 3-3 three -three Joseki, or this one. Oh, wait, no, maybe not. <clears throat> okay, but basically, um, white has less points. White has two, four, six points in the corner, and uh, maybe seven points. And black has thickness that is just as thick as the 3-3 three -three Joseki, which is worth more than ten points depending on the rest of the board. So this Joseki is actually very, or I can't say this is Joseki because Joseki is even result. This is actually very good for black. So we normally don't see this move at all. And that's why I was so uh, surprised when I saw this move on the Yahoo Go server. And it wasn't just one person that played this against me, it was several people. So I ended up uh, doing some research on, or studying this with some friends of mine and we found out why it was so bad and why we've never seen it before. Um, another variation we thought of was this, but uh, what was the problem with this? 
when we come out, um, white gets out, and uh, white can get out pretty easily, and white still has this move to make eyes. We uh, decided that um, if black's super sick, we can play this way, but otherwise, this is just good enough. And this move, um, I'd only play if I had other stones around, or if I was trying to do something with other stones on the board for a global reason. Um, and this variation would change completely, because I can do this, I can do this. Um, this variation would be completely different depending on the rest of the board. So uh, I'll leave that to you to um, try and work out on your own, because it'll all be situational when you try moves like that. But if you just want to remember this one, um, there's some other stuff to think about too, but this is the main variation that we came up with. And the reason I push one more here, for instance, if white tries to go this one out, black can do this in Sente, and I don't like giving this turn in Sente on uh, any board position. Uh, so I'll just push one more so that way you can't do it in Sente. So if white tries to ignore, black can go in here and kill the corner. And white's dead on the inside, so white has to respond. And I don't like, uh, I like white even less because it's completely sealed in the corner. And black has even better thickness, and he just got this turn in Sente, and I don't like giving the turn in Sente. But um, if you have trouble seeing how this thickness is uh, more valuable than these things right here, especially after this move, um, all I can say is, uh, look at some Moyo games and see how thickness is used in some high dong games, um, and, or just keep an eye out for it. Uh, it's really hard to explain. It's, the only way you can, like, get used to seeing this thickness as more valuable is seeing how it's used in real live games or using it yourself and creating, uh, a, a bunch of Moyo games. Like, for example, locally, ignoring the rest of the board, I have a move like this, and already I'm getting more points than what he got in the corner, and this board can change pretty fast as well, and then this influence can be pretty big, or I might think uh, that if I have a stone over here, I can push white towards my thickness, and then start pressuring on because I have... To take away his base so I can start pressuring him. Uh, peep there and attack. And I can actually start controlling the rest of the board from here. See, I have this move. This, I think this move, no, maybe not. This move is a simple one. Uh, I think this peep is Sente. Yeah, it's Sente. So here, or just here, and let me just do this, and I think white can live pretty easily, but just, I can control the rest of the board doing this, um, just ideas like that, um, you just have to learn how you use thickness, uh, but just see how, how some high dons use it if you're confused, but otherwise, um, this is uh, very good for black, so this move that I see a lot on the Yahoo Go server, or maybe not a lot, I was on it for like one day just to try it out, didn't uh, like it too much, but um, it was an interesting little server. I didn't like it because it couldn't get a rank, and I figured out that you had to play like 20 games or something to get a rank, but um, a few people played this against me, so I figured I'd show this, show why it's a mistake or why it's not recommended. Um, if you think about it as um, you can invade and live when blacks like stick all around, there's also a move like this, which is gives more um, variations. But this is a, kind of a invasion that's only seen when black has a lot of stones around. Like for example, um, if black has a stone right here, stone right here, um, a stone right here, and a stone right here, something, and the invasion seems really difficult. White might try and see if they can get a living group right here, 
and that might be a playable move. Um, you don't have to try it right here, but in this case, I might try this and just run you out. And I think White's probably going to die. Or I might just do this. And no eye in the corner. Yeah. But, um, so yeah, this move is probably taught by this move when you want to invade. Um, this move has a lot of variations, but that's for another time. I would not recommend this move for now, just uh, because if black gets this super thick, you should have something else on the board making up for it, otherwise you made a mistake. And this move can lead to a lot of mistakes, and it's all, everything about this move is situational. Um, the only four responses are here, 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 and here, uh, but you'll have to read each one and figure out how it works in each situation. But That'll be um, up to you. Um, this move is actually very difficult, and I don't know all of them. I just know that when uh, you go in the corner, you can have some Aji, which means weakness to possibly live. But I've had people try moves similar to this, and I've killed them if I'm too sick. So it, it's all about reading. You just got to be able to read, and in your life and death. But um, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.